done like nothing. It was the fastest week, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Right now we are standing in Slovenia. We came from Croatia and we are going to Italy. Yeah, that's right. So let's, let's bring, bring it on. on. So finally we are on the road, the health and friendship exactly, yeah. cycle path. Back in the day over here there used to be a train track. All the way was a train track and now they made a cycle path out of it. Yeah, over there is a tunnel. And there's our bicycles. <laughs> Here we go. Nice one. Yeah, Audrey is doing like the European solidarity call, yeah. so she's doing social work actually, right? Exactly, yeah. And Audrey and Eva, they took us on this uh, health and friendship route. For example, if somebody don't know what to do after high school, or if somebody wants to learn uh, foreign languages, getting to know yeah. foreign cultures, kind of compared with Erasmus, but instead of Erasmus that you're studying, you're, you're doing social work abroad. It's a good project. From 18 to 30, so you can still do it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful yeah. city, very alive and very nice, yeah. very Italian. You had everything, you had like a, a huge mix of, of, of different kind of people and lifeful, playful atmosphere between in there and so at that moment I, I realized like oh my god it's so sad that I can't speak Italian because I really wanted to, um, yeah, to engage in a conversation um, with the people from there. I know about mosaic. I think it's a form of art. <laughs> Met this super cool uh, project and lady, by the way. Anna, Anna, wonderful woman, and she taught us how to do mosaic. And now we're uh, biking through the city of Ravenna. We're getting to know the history of Ravenna, which is really known for the mosaic. But that's what we're doing now. It's, it's, it's actually the birthplace of, of where mo the, the real art of mosaic um, has started. And it's very, very unique. You're not gonna find this everywhere or even anywhere else. The entire upper wall, as same as the other side, over here is filled with mosaic and it's gold it's real gold exactly so it is pretty impressive exceeds our usual restraint 
in the choice and severity of the methods he adopts against the bandits. In this connection, the old principle holds good, that a mistake in the choice of methods in executing the orders is better than failures or neglect to act. Yeah, Masaboto was an interesting place, different to everything we yeah. have done so far. Yeah. We are uh, in San Martino, that was one of the 115 places of the biggest Nazi massacre of civilians in Western Europe during the Second World War. Back then it was a completely different story. It was a sad place. It is super sad, but it's not even sad. It was just a gruesome. Uh, yeah. I don't have a lot of words for it, it just, just makes me really, really sad actually. In order to promote peace for the world, we need um, aware citizens. Instead of trying to hide the history, people need to acknowledge it and people need to find peace with it mm -hmm. and learn something out of it. And that's the point exactly we have to learn and in order to learn something out of it, we should not forget yeah. And all you can do right now is to educate the people because exactly, the people yeah. themselves, they, they are still the same people, we still have the same needs, the same, I don't know, characters in this world and um, all we can do is learn from history yeah. to not make it happen again, hopefully. Exactly, no, yeah, you're right. Also people from Israel and Palestine are coming here. We are now working in Mozambique, in Tunisia, mm -hmm. so it's a very... Yes, large project, um, because the idea of peace is a large idea. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Italian food. <laughs> Makes me smile, thank you. <laughs> And here we eat again, look at this. And we just can't stop eating, it's awesome. Awesome food, look at this. I ate a lot, not too much, but just perfect. So uh, I think I'm gonna lay down in the, in the back of the car and do a little sister. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. Ready to yeah. learn something about the project Perceive. What is the project about this? Sure, thank you. So, Perceive project aims at studying the effect of cohesion policies on the identification with Europe, so European identity. And cohesion policies are money given by the European Union to reduce disparities between regions. But then we found out through the survey that actually uh, solidarity uh, within the European Union is more spread than we thought. She said um, that, uh, like in the interview before, I was asked um, if I know about European institutions in my region, so Berlin, and I was totally not aware of it. People know the European Union, but they don't know what the European Union does. Um, yeah, it was really interesting to see these this, 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 this young people being so driven. To Could you imagine to live here? up in these houses. It's going to be super tight. I'm a tall guy, but I <laughs> think that I could figure something out. It looks beautiful. No doubt about this. It looks beautiful, yeah. Louis is looking out. Uh, watch us out for the trash in the sea. Oh, and we found something. Taking our trash from the sea, boy. That's what we're good at. And I can't understand why you didn't like it done. This was awesome, right? <laughs> Another week is over, I can't believe it. Oh my god. This was the fastest week so far. Yeah, and I know why it's why it was the fastest week. If you're having fun, if you're meeting wonderful people, having great conversations, it goes so fast because you're not paying attention to to the time, so but what keeps me happy is the thought of having one more week to go. Exactly, yeah. One yeah. exciting week in France. Exactly, I'm really looking yeah, forward yeah, to this. That's true. Italy, thank you so much for everything that you're up with us. <gasps> thank you, Italy. Yeah, and at the same time, we're gonna 
Keep enjoying the, the great wine. <laughs> so cheers, guys. Cheers.